Inside of InDesign, you can apply color to an image, but there are certain rules that apply before you can add color to it. And the first rule is that the image has to be a rasterized image, meaning that it cannot be a vector-based image, such as that which would come from Illustrator, for an example. It's got to come from Photoshop. Um, it cannot have any transparency applied to it, and it has to be either a PSD or a TIFF file before you import it. So what I've done to demonstrate how color works here in InDesign is I've went to this page, opened up this image in Photoshop, and removed the color profile from it. So all I have here is a grayscale image. All the color has been stripped. And what I want to do is come into InDesign, click on my links palette, find that image, right, because I have it selected. And I'm going to relink it to my saved color.psd that I just saved out of Photoshop and click open. And that's going to open it. So if I click out of here and grab my direct select tool, and click on the frame, and we can see that the frame is kind of crooked here to make this image look a little bit better. Um, I'm going to come into my swatches. Now with the frame, or the direct select tool on the object, if I apply color to it, we're going to get undesired results. And this is the key to remembering how to use color in here other than remembering that it has to be rasterized and uh, no transparency, is that if you want to apply color to this and get the desired results, let me click off the stage and then click, here we have the image itself selected. Now if I come in, and you know what, it left color on our frame, so I'm just going to back up here. and relink this. Okay, now you see the straight line on our frame here. We got our black and white image. Now the image itself is selected. What was just happening there was I didn't go back and undo the color that I applied to the frame. So essentially what happens when you direct select that, it's applying color to the frame not the image under it, and that gives you that ugly result. But now, by selecting the image itself, we know it's selected because these are horizontal, we come up and grab our swatches. Now when we change the color, the effects are a little bit better, or more the way we want them. Not necessarily the colors that we choose that I'm selecting here, but you get the point. It's this effect over this effect. So it really depends, you know, having the image selected versus the frame itself selected. I'll just choose black, come in, choose the image, and now I can apply color to the image itself rather than the frame. And that is essentially how you can apply color to an image directly within InDesign.